Hey, what's up, Dokken fam, and welcome back to Oh the Hermanity. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to raise the super attack of Defeat is Not an Option Android 18 from 1 to 10 without using any Elder Kai's. And if you missed any of my other super attack boosting videos, I will post a link to the entire playlist in the end screen at the end of this video. And fam, if you've been enjoying the content, show that love by clicking that like button and sharing this video with other Dokken players because they need to know how to do this stuff. All right, so here we go, guys. Um, <laughs> I actually just filmed the Android 17 video on how to boost his super attack from 1 to 10. So let me just click on that unit really quick. And the reason why I'm bringing this up now, so this is the unit I'm talking about, these two tech units, I, I was just reading the stats for Android 18. Dude, like, they are a monster combo. You got Android 18 um, stunning your, the enemies, and you got Android 17 um, sealing their super attacks, and their key boosts are absolutely insane. So if you didn't see my video on Android 17, I suggest go watching it after this one, because it's going to blow your mind. Uh, but let's, let's get back on track. <laughs> so we got Defeat is not an option, Android 18. So let's pull her up real quick and check out her stats. There she is. So this unit, this is her, her regular form, okay? Her base form, she does have a TUR, and we will get to that at the end of the video, and we're actually gonna TUR her together once we get her super attack to 10, because I already have all the units and medals to do that. So her leader skill, tech type, uh, tech type key plus two, as well as HP attack and defense plus 50%. Uh, she causes supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for six turns and then her passive skill attack and defense plus 50% and she changes fizz key spheres to tech key spheres which is freaking awesome and works really well with android 17 once you see that video you'll see why and then she gets an additional plus 12% per rainbow key sphere obtained so this is the only part of this unit um, that doesn't really rock my world because how often do you get a lot of rainbow units? However, that all changes once you TUR Android 18. And when you TUR this unit, she turns into Unlimited Android Assault Android 18. And check it out. Leader skill is tech type key plus 2. HP attack and defense plus 70%. Before, it was 50%. It's now 70%. Uh, causes supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for six turns. That's exactly what it was before. But now check out the passive skill. Now we have attack and defense plus 70% before it was 50. Uh, still changes fizz key spheres to tech key spheres. But now there's no rainbow anymore. It's plus an additional attack plus 12% and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained. So any, any key sphere will do. Before, you didn't even get a defense boost and it was rainbow. Now, you get a defense boost of 7 per any sphere obtained. So in my opinion, that makes this unit like like nasty. And when you combine her with her brother, it, it's crazy. So what do you need in order to boost the super attack of this unit? Well, first of all, you can't boost her super attack efficiently if she's in the TUR form. So do not dock and awaken Android 18 until you boost her super attack so leave her in her base form, defeat is not an option, and then you're going to start collecting this unit right here, Love Warrior of Universe 7, and you get her from this event, okay, Universe Survival Saga, Final Battle of the Tournament of Power, and then I'll go to that event really quick and show you exactly which stage you need to go to in order to do it, and what team you should be using. So we'll go to story, and then hers is stage one. So the climatic battle for love. And if we click on info, you can see this for yourself. So there she is. There's her unit, drop unit right there. Uh, and then if we scroll down even further, we'll find out that if we want to boost our chances of the drop rate, we have to get characters from the Universal Survival Saga. Universe Survival Saga. I'm not going to do the event, but I'm going to show you my team really quick. What I always want you guys to do is go to filter and then just turn off AGL, uh, turn off everything except tech and super, and then grab yourself an LR, Goku, and Frieza friend. As soon as you do that, if you get all the rest of your characters in, always try to get characters that have a TUR form. As you can see, all my units that are here right now, they do have a TUR form, and they're in their TUR form. Your effect should go as high as 185%. 
Um, and if you have LR Goku and Frieza, unfortunately I don't. Um, if I did have LR Goku and Frieza as my lead, it would actually be 195%. And that greatly increases your drop rate. You can get anywhere between one to four drops at a time of this Android 18 unit. So let's go back to this. Hold on one second. Boom. So first, let's check her out. And I highly recommend that even if you don't have Andro tech Android 18, that you do grind this unit, you do get her super attack to 10, and you do open up all four hidden paths. I've actually already done that myself, and this is why. Leader skill, Universe Survival Saga, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. So as a leader skill, not the best. However, Super Attack causes supreme damage to enemy and lowers attack. And then her passive skill, Defense plus 10% per Key Sphere obtained. And she has a medium chance to stun the attacked enemy for two turns. So she's not obviously the best unit in the game because she's a drop unit. She's nothing compared to her counterpart right here. However, if you don't have Tech Android 18, this AGL Android 18 is another great one to have on your Universe Survival Saga team. So grind her out, get her locked, put her away, and then start getting your dupes for Tech Android 18. All right, so let's jump right in here. Go to training. Hold on, let me turn off this. There we go, training. Let's pull up Android 18. And then we're going to click on training partners. And as you can see, I have two units ready to go because mine's already at super attack eight. And the drop unit itself is in SSI form. So it's going to be 50%. And then if you TUR this unit, it's going to be 100%. Now, whenever you can get a drop unit that gives you a 50% chance already, it is not worth TURing and wasting the metals and the zenny. Okay, the only reason why I'm doing it in this video is to show you what you need. Um, if you have loads and loads and loads of metals, then and you don't want to waste time, then go for it. But in my opinion, if you do three at a time, so three 50% units, I only have two. If you do three at a time, you will get at least one to three of, uh, of a plus super attack every single time you do it. It's very rare that you'll get a zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Awaken. We're going to click on AGL, Android 18. Now, obviously, I already got her level maxed out at 80. So right here, whoops, go back. And then these are the medals you need. You need 50 Gregory medals, 20 Grandpa Kohans, 10 Korins, um, 3 Kabito Kais, Kabito, and then 1 Elder Kai. And then it's going to cost 1,875,000 Zenny. So let's click Z Awaken. Boom, there she is. She now goes to the UR state, and now that she's UR, I'm going to go back to training. I'm going to click on my Android 18, and then I'm going to finish off her super attack and give her a plus two and get her to 10, and then we're going to go, and we're going to TUR her together. Now, obviously, the medals that you need in order to TUR this unit come from the same event where you get the drop characters, okay? So they come from this event right here that we were just on. And I recommend that even if you don't have Android 17 or 18, that you get 20 of each metal. And I'll explain why. Let's go to Awakening, click on Android 18. You see it takes 10 Android 17 metals and 10 Android 18 metals in order to TUR this unit. Well, it takes the exact same metals for Android 17. So if you happen to pull Android 17 in the future when this event is gone and you don't have the medals, you will not be able to TUR that unit. So grind out 20 of each so you can TUR both of them when you summon them. So let's get right in here. We'll go for this Dock and Awakening. There she goes. And then she turns into this one right here. Nice. Let's click on her really quick. So Unlimited Android Assault Android 18. And remember guys, once she gets in that TUR state, that's when she gets nasty. She has that passive skill, attack and defense plus 70%, changes Fizz Key Spheres to tech, uh, tech Key Spheres, and then that a plus an additional attack plus 12% and defense plus 7% per Key Sphere obtained is just a monster quality to have. So 
there you have it that is how you boost a super attack from 1 to 10 of your android 18 if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and remember i'm posting a playlist to all my super attack boosting videos in the end screen as soon as this video is over and as always more good stuff coming soon see you guys